I'm back with another grocery haul. It's been a very long time, but I just returned from Aldi and I thought I'd share with you guys our groceries for the week. So I've got them all laid out here and let's take a look. basically snacky and I guess junk foodie on the left because we do you know eat our fair share of chips and crackers and things so I have a big giant box and I've never had these before but we did try them and they're pretty good these have the little juicy stuff in the middle we've never had these before but they're actually pretty good so um, my kids really really love uh, fruit snacks and we have got some um, things that we're gonna be packing our lunches for coming up so I thought that would be a good thing to pick up I've got some Ritz crackers, or the equivalent of Ritz crackers. Solly tried to get into this box, but these are the Wheat Thin crackers. There's two boxes of those, and these are a really good price at Aldi. They're like 99 cents or something, so very, very good price. I got two packs of movie theater microwave popcorn. I'm hoping to get back to doing family movie nights in the near future, so I've picked up a couple of those. I've got some restaurant style tortilla chips back here and I picked up some really amazing mango salsa at Aldi to go with this. I'm so excited about trying. Um, we have our ranch um, tortilla chips, the corn chips, and some taquitos. I got these because Gavin is um, here and he loves taquitos so I picked him up some of those. Of course Maddie wanted some moon pies so we got those. We got a bag of, I guess these are similar to Oreos, and some chocolate chip cookies. And then I have our meats for the week. I have two packs of split chicken breasts. Um, this was a $5.53 for three pounds, so not too bad. I got two of these. This one was a little more. It was $7. Um, so I thought we would do like some baked uh, oven baked chicken with rice or something like that this week. Um, and then I got a nice big pack of ground beef. I found, this was kind of an impulse buy. I'll tell you how I'm doing my meal planning this week. Totally different than I usually do it. So, um, but I did see this. It's already marinated with barbecue seasoning. So this is the pork shoulder. And I got two of these. And then I also picked up a nice big chuck roast for our Mississippi pot roast that we have at least once a month so that's for that and then I have some sandwich roast beef here and a pack of bacon and I think that pretty much does it for our meats um, our produce is a nice giant bag of russet potatoes I think I'm going to be making some homemade mashed potatoes and we always eat potatoes so I need a big bag of those I got a big bag of granny smith apples I got a bag of um, oranges, two packages of corn on the cob to go with a meal, maybe with that roast chicken, that sounds good, and then um, some tomatoes, some avocado, I got two of those, I got a bag of red table grapes, and you guys, they had the cherries again, which I was so excited about, so I got a nice big bag of cherries and a fresh pineapple. And then I also got some mandarin oranges in the can. So I thought Solomon might like those. Um, and then for our freezer and refrigerated items, we always pick up these dino chicken nuggets for the kids like for easy lunch with these um, chicken circle, I'm um, chicken, um, crispy circles. These are like um, tater tots. And um, I also have these frozen Brussels sprouts. I love these, I got two packs of these. And then I got six containers of yogurt in the vanilla and peach flavors. And this is the chunky mango salsa I was telling you guys about that I've had before. It's really good. I'm excited to eat this because it's been a long time since I've had that. Um, and then I got some Swiss sliced Swiss cheese to go with the, um, the roast beef sandwich meat. And then we have some Mexican style cheese. I always try to keep that on hand. I have some cheddar cubes 
and some Irish butter for our Mississippi pot roast. And then this is the spreadable butter that we use. It's uh, real butter. And we really like that. Um, I have eggs, I think, in the fridge. I just got one dozen this week because I'm pretty sure that I still have a good many left in the fridge. I got the Moo tubes, yogurt tubes for the kids' lunch boxes, and some orange juice. And I think that's it for the frozen and refrigerated items. Um, so on to this section here, which is basically our dry goods and uh, non-food items. So I have three um, containers of apple juice. We like this 100% apple juice that Aldi has, and it's like $1.09 um, per bottle. And then we have some chunky salsa. I got two of these pasta sauces here. This is tomato, basil, and garlic. I usually just get the traditional, but they didn't have that today, so I got two of these to give a try. I have two containers of cinnamon applesauce. Here's our pepperoncini peppers for our Mississippi pot roast. Our honey, which I go through a lot of honey, so I was out and needed that. Syrup, barbecue sauce for some barbecue chicken. Um, we were out of jelly for PB&Js. I have two cream of mushroom cans and two cream of chickens. I just knew that I was out of this, so I had to restock um, the pantry. And then I have the Italian seasoning and the ranch seasoning, and then my crushed and diced tomatoes and some angel hair pasta. I have some flour tortillas, two loaves of white bread, and then our scrubbers and gain laundry detergent. So that concludes this week's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we picked up at Aldi. And I will be sharing um, either on Instagram or here along the week um, what we've decided to do for our meal plan. So stick around and see what's coming up. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Leave a comment and a thumbs up.